All right, y'all. Today we are back and we are going to be working on the 1991 Z50R. Now, this thing should have been gone and sold, but when I repaired the tank, it started to leak on the side. Yeah, you might say, oh, okay. But what you don't realize is that I patched holes like entire holes on the bottom of the tank and those didn't leak but the one on the side leaked the smallest little pinhole leaked but not the gaping holes that i repaired on the bottom so today is going to be a pretty quick video because we are just putting this tank off of ebay it is a steel painted tank off of eBay, 150 bucks shipped. We're gonna put this on here and I'm going to basically just eat the cost of buying that tank because otherwise I'm gonna have people just lowballing me if I'm selling them or if I'm trying to sell them something that doesn't functionally run because it leaks gas. So in order to sell it without getting lowballed, put 150 more dollars into it and get it going. What I'm not gonna do is spend $40 more and get the correct decals for the side. The new owner can decide to spend that $40 if they want to. So I believe it was two 10 meals holding the seat on, the seat comes off. And I think it's like a 10 meal holding the tank on and then we're going to swip swap but up and be done with it put some gas in it maybe take it for a little ride And the tank does come with a new pitcock valve and a new gas cap. So whoever buys my Z50R, they can have the original gas tank. Or if they don't want it, I will just hang it up on my wall and I'll keep it. Uh, but yeah, if you didn't watch the repair video, I literally repaired all of that and none of that leaked. The ones on the side wanted to leak so i'm gonna get this rubber grommet transferred over get the petcock on and the tank and i may use the uh the old vent tube or i may get another vent tube and throw it in there and i'll be back petcock is installed cap is installed rubber grommet is installed now to just put everything back on And just like that, the new tank is on. I really don't like it without the graphics. I may just spend the $40 and get the graphics because this looks very incomplete. Uh, the new tank and the new seat kind of vibe off each other so it doesn't look as bad or as new as what I thought. But I may go ahead and spend that $40 on those graphics. It will look a whole lot better with the graphics on there. Um, but let me see if i got enough gas throw some gas in here make sure the pet cock doesn't leak and i haven't started this thing in i don't know how long so let's uh see if this bad girl will start the 125 is also going up for sale all i'm going to do is throw this seat cover on and then clean it up and that's going to be for sale as well so these two, getting rid of them. I'm just gonna keep the 83 200E Big Red and the 2400EX and my Baja 
and I'm gonna turn this 110 into like a little drift quad I'm gonna extend it like six inches but these two right here needs to go the 200 is way more comfortable than the 125 but it does have 200 s for suspension on it as does my 200e so let's get some gas in this bad girl and let's see if we can get this bad girl to start all right i don't have but a little bit of gas in this um in this tank so got gas flowing the pet cock is not leaking so i'm gonna leave it off give it a couple of kicks and then get some gas in the car Purring like a kitten. Purring like the kitten she is. Haven't been started up in probably three months. This neat little choke. I have a little bit of gas in here. I'll take for a ride around the block. Maybe quiet too. Put y'all on my chest. Let's go for a ride. Go on a little ride on this itty bitty thing.
Ah, lend up a little, huh? Probably because it's running out of gas, but... I'm gonna let the tank, uh, I'm gonna let the fuel bowl drain out and we'll be back, close the video out. This is the end for the Z50R. Everything is looking good. Uh, I did break down and I bought the graphics for the tank that was another $54. So that's $200 just in the new tank and the graphics because this just looks very, very incomplete. So, what can you do sometimes? I think it's gonna be about a week or two before those graphics come in. So I'll just do a separate video on putting the graphics on and how it looks. And if it's not sold, I will take more pictures and more video of the bike and post it up on Marketplace the price will not change. It'll stay at $1,300. But I think we all agree that it just, it looks incomplete having no graphics on the tank. So when those come in, I'll make a video and then I guess give the final uh, look on it. I am contemplating spending another $20 and ordering a new shifter because uh, this shift looks terrible so I may end up in order a new shifter as well we shall see because that thing is ugly it is ugly and terrible so may do that too we'll see on the next video of the Z50R so always remember think build and enjoy peace